The ServiceNow CMDB Adaptive plugin enables enterprises to synchronize their network and device assets from BlueCat Address Manager into a common configuration management system. With our new integration, you can import, view, create, and manage BlueCat assets from ServiceNow. For this demo, we will import switches and networks into ServiceNow and then browse them. We're starting off from my switches table here, and you can see it's completely empty. So for my demo data, I only have a couple just for brevity here. I'll go ahead and import all my switch devices from my BlueCat configuration. All right, it went ahead and pulled two records out of there, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at them now. So you can see here, I have the two that I added, uh, S1 and S2. One of them has an associated IP address, and they also have the actual asset IDs from within BlueCat. I'll also go ahead and import networks as well and show you what that looks like. So for networks, I will be doing from the BlueCat configuration. In this case, I have a couple different options. I can import from blocks specified by the admin within the settings of this app. I can do all networks in BAM, or I can do all networks in the RFC 1918 space. We go ahead and go with that. All right, successfully pulled 11 networks into CMDB. If I look at my networks table now, you'll see I have a handful of networks here. They provide the subnet, the ID, and a message that they came from BlueCat Address Manager as part of the import. I have a handful of more networks in my BAM, but in this case, I've only imported from the private space. In the previous demo, we discussed importing into ServiceNow. Now we'll discuss managing these assets from ServiceNow. So I'll take a simple example here where I have my network table here, and I've imported my networks from a private space into ServiceNow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the name of one of these assets, and I'll see that change reflected over in the address manager. So first, if I look at Address Manager, and I go and look at my IP space, I can look in the 10 space, and I can see all those same networks. However, a few of these are not named. So I'm going to go ahead and provide a name for one of these. So for my 10.090, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call it after me. So Chris is network. I'll go ahead and save. And you can see that it's working. It's actually propagating that change over to the address manager. So now if I go back to address manager and I refresh, you'll see that change reflected here. I also can do deletions from the CMDB side. However, I have that currently disabled in my settings, and this is something that's able to be controlled very granularly through those settings. So in this case, I have delete disabled, but I'm able to add and update. So we'll go ahead and do an add as well. So we'd previously talked about our switches and imported those. I'd like to add a new switch. And this one will be S002. So I'll go ahead and give my serial number here, S002. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the blue cat configuration and I will give it a IP address and we'll go ahead and create. And you can see here, it was able to successfully create it in the address manager with the specified serial number and with the IP address. And you can see there's actually an ID associated as well on the creation. So if we look in Address Manager under our Devices tab, you'll see here that my new switch was created. And just to round this all out, I can show you 
if I wanted to delete this as well. So I will enable deletion for just switches. And I will go ahead and I will delete one of my previous switches that I had. So we will remove S001. Once again, you'll see that change reflected over in Address Manager as that device has been removed. And that's ServiceNow CMDB. Visit us at bluecatnetworks.com to learn more.